Hello, and welcome to the second episode of The Chili Chamber. I'm Luke Simmons, and on today's episode, we have... Saw Shop Cross 1251 Scotch Bonnet Chili Jam. A Square Root collaboration with Saw Shop Chili Cola. And as promised on last week's episode, the Ghost Chili. I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who joined me on the debut episode of The Chili Chamber. And thank you for all the likes and the subscribes that you've very kindly given me. I can promise you that there'll be far more of this content going up. I'll try and make it a weekly thing as well. So, this leads us on to the new section I'll be calling the Capsicum Recap. This section is basically going to be a little recap on the previous episode. Now those of you that joined me in the debut episode remember that I took on the Fatali chili pepper, which went a little bit like this. Why do I do these stupid things? <laughs> uh, ow. Uh. So about an hour after I finished filming the previous episode with the Fatali chili pepper, I ended up laying on my sofa the stomach cramps and the pain from chewing that thing and swallowing it. It was ridiculous. It had me laying there and thinking, IS THIS THE END? So here we go. We're going to start with the Saw Shop Cross 1251 Scotch Bonnet Chili Jam. So I'm a big fan of Saw Shop and their sauces, which I will be covering in future videos. I'll be really looking forward to this one. So. This jam, it says, based on his mum's Caribbean recipe, BBC Great British Menu winner James Cochran's chilli jam has been a lifetime in the making. Charred Scotch bonnet peppers, red chilies, and tomatoes make this the perfect accompaniment for anything from cheese to fried chicken. So how awesome is that? You've got literally one of the UK's top sauce companies doing a collab with one of the UK's top chefs. Awesome, this has got to be really good. Now, as delicious as this, accompanied with some fried chicken or some cheese sounds, I don't have either. So I'm going to be having it with the accompaniment of... A spoon. A spoon which has literally just broken in my hands. It's okay because we have standby spoon who's gonna save the day. Ow. Okay. You have to give me a minute. All right, I got the lid off. So here we have it. The Saw Shop Cross 1251 Scotch Bonnet Chili Jam. Looks really nice actually. Mm. Smells sweet, well, the jam smells quite sweet. Um, you can definitely smell the, uh, you can smell the heat of the chilies, it's like a really nice tomato-y undertone to it. Nice. Have you got that much? Well, I have no idea how hot this is going to be or anything. Oh, what have we got on here? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So of course it's, it's lovely and sweet. And you can taste the tomatoes in there. And it's got, I'd say it's got just about the right amount of heat. Considering it's got Scotch bonnets in there as well, you expect it's going to like blow your head off, but it's just the right amount of heat. It's like quite a nice warming sensation to it. I'll have a little bit. Mmm, yeah, that's really, really nice. That is really, really nice actually. Oh, it's perfect. It's like the sweetness of jam and the heat of chilies combined that's beautiful so yeah i can totally agree that it probably tastes really nice with some cheese i imagine like this with cheese and crackers or something like that would be really nice it's a little snack fried chicken this would be lovely with uh i definitely agree with that i mean even like in turkey or i don't know literally anything to be honest just really nice really nice taste to that I'll have another little bit yeah really nice Really, really nice. I like that. 
Good stuff. Source Shop meets 1251 by James Cochran. This is jam hot. And I agree. That's beautiful. Nice sweet jam with a little bit of heat. Sweet with a heat. Sweet with a heat. Sweet with a heat. Get some. So, after that delicious jam, we've now got another Source Shop collaboration. And this time, this one is with Square Root. And this is their collaboration Chili Cola, which I've chilled nicely in the fridge. Square Root Chili Cola, handmade in our cider works, made with spicy jalapenos from Source Shop. And it says, when the masters of sauce and the titans of soda combine. Well, that sounds like that can only be a good thing. Ooh, chili cola. So this is one that I've not tried before. I've had many different sort of chili products over the years, and this one is definitely a first. So nice and chilled. And I've tactically done this as the second one today because I have no idea how bad the ghost chili is going to be in a bit. So I'm probably going to have a bit of this. See how it tastes, tell you guys all about it, and then I'm going to probably save about half of it just in case the ghost chili gets. Well, uh, I'm not expecting a good time with that. Okay, let's get this going. Oh. There we go. Fizzy, fizzy. Ooh, nice. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's like caramelly sort of cola colour, as you'd expect. So I'm wondering what this is going to be like. Is this going to be sweet like cola, or is it going to be hot like chili? I imagine I have to balance the flavour quite nicely on these, because it's either going to be too sweet, or it's going to be too hot. So, hmm. That's actually nice, because you can taste like the actual the flavour of a jalapeno in there. And the, the cola flavour isn't like, it doesn't override it at all. It's not like really sweet and overbearing over the top of it. It's definitely a cola, but rather than being a hot chilli experience this, it's more like you actually get the flavour of a chilli in there, which is nice. You sort of a nice little blend between sweetness and, you know, a chilli, well, jalapeno flavour to it. And this one's definitely relatively tame on the old burns. There's not really a, a burn sensation from it. So, yeah, it's nice. It's just a nice, you know, a nice soda style drink. Um, you know, cola that everyone, you know, everyone knows cola well enough with a nice smoky sort of jalapeno taste to it, which is, is quite nice, actually. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. That's interesting. It's like a bit different. You know, it's easy to just go to, you know, grab your go-to cola or, you know, a lemonade as a soft drink. But something like that, that's a bit more exciting and different. I'm actually pretty glad I've got another five bottles of this in the fridge. That's an interesting one. Square Root and Sauce Shop, well done guys. That's a nice, interesting new kind of flavour. I like it, it's something different. Okay, so we've had the lovely jam and we've had the nice refreshing drink. Now it's time for the ghost chili pepper, isn't it? So again, I picked these ghost chilies up a couple of weeks back from the Bennington Chili Festival. I am only going to be eating one of them because these are way hotter than the previous episodes for Tali. Oh man, you can tell this is going to be bad because I can actually smell it. It's like, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite strong already, like the actual smell of it. Uh, but first of all, it's time to get the low down on the ghost pepper. So, here's some info for you. <coughs> the ghost pepper also known as Bud Jalokia, which literally means Bhutan pepper in Assamese, is an interspecific hybrid chili pepper cultivated in northeast India. It is a hybrid of capsicum chinense and capsicum fruticense. In 2007, Guinness World Records certified that the ghost pepper was the world's hottest chili pepper, 170 times hotter than Tabasco sauce. Woo! Continues to say, the ghost chili is rated at more than 1 million Scoville heat units. Now, if you think about last episode, when I took on the Fatali pepper, those guys are literally between 125,000 
and 400,000 Scoville heat units. So this is double it and some, and this is gonna be a very bad time. In a race to grow the hottest chili pepper in the world, the ghost pepper was superseded in 2011 by the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Pepper. And then that was superseded in 2013 by the Carolina Reaper Chili. And now I'll let you into a little secret. I've got both of those waiting in my cupboard for future episodes. So we're just gonna get hotter and hotter, baby. Hotter and hotter and hotter. And I'm just gonna keep getting hotter and take my clothes off. Weird. So with the ghost chili pepper, red is the most common variety of these guys. There are also orange, yellow, and chocolate as rare varieties too. So it comes in all different colors, which is pretty cool. And a pretty cool little fact about these guys as well. Despite their size, and we've all heard how hot a ghost chili pepper is, check this out. So in 2009, scientists at India's Defense Research and Development Organization, the DRDO, announced plans to use the peppers in hand grenades as a non-lethal method to control rioters with pepper sprays or in self-defense. Man, pepper spray of ghost chili. Ooh. It continues to say, chili grenades made from ghost peppers were successfully used by the Indian Army in August 2015 to flush out a terrorist hiding in a cave. <laughs> oh man, the burns must be incredible. All right, well, enough jabbering on. It's come to that time. I'm gonna take on the ghost chili pepper. Uh, I'm pretty nervous about this, but well, you're gonna see how it goes. Twice in a bit as hot as Fatale. All right, here it goes. Ghost chili pepper. Oh God. Yeah, it's one of those ones that's gonna kind of lure me in, isn't it? Because it tastes like sweet bell pepper. And now it's getting really hot. And I'm actually afraid to swallow. Oh no, I don't like to do. Oh sh Oh man. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Compared to the Fatale, this one's not doing my tongue so much. It's just waves, waves of searing heat. Searing heat, all the way down my throat, I can't stop swallowing, he's making me dribble so bad. Oh. Oh. Look at that man, lowly proceed. Ah, uh, oh, it's made my ears feel really hot. What the hell? Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, man, it's making me feel really uncomfortable. Oh, God. Oh, man. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh sh Oh sh oh, is that hot? I just want to run away from myself. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna get out of my own skin and just run away. Ah! That is so hot! Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 ah. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't... Ah. 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 Save me, sweet chili drink. Ah. Maybe this will help. Ah. No. No. Ah. Ah. Oh, the heat just comes back. Ah. <laughs> Ah! 
Yeah, here we go, snot. Oh my god. I'm trying to talk, I can't I can't talk. I can't talk. Oh give me a few minutes. Oh my god. So stupid ideas. Oh my god. It's weird because the Fatali pepper in comparison roasts the head out of your tongue. But this, this just seems to be burning the back of my tongue rather than tip of my tongue. All the way down my throat. Oh, I can actually hear ringing in my ears. That's really weird. Whoa. Whoa. You can actually feel like all the pores on my face have opened up and just sweat. So as I was trying to say, the ghost pepper compared to the Fatali. The Fatali instantly in 30 seconds just whacks all your taste buds out, like they're just gone straight away. And then it burns and it just burns your tongue. It just takes your tongue out and just gets hotter and hotter. It's like licking like licking a hot grill pan or something. It's just roast your senses, you can't taste anymore. The ghost pepper in comparison is just heat. And it doesn't really burn my tongue as much, but there's just heat that just goes down and then it feels like everything, my whole body feels like I've just gone up about 10 degrees or so. It just, everything feels really, really hot. All my pores are opened up, like just sweaty and and my ears are actually ringing. My ears, my ears are actually ringing. I can hear like this low ringing sound. It's really weird. Strangely enough, even though that was, you know, that was the ghost chili, which was twice, and then a bit more, you know, in regards to the Scoville heat units compared to the Fatali. I actually found the Fatali a hotter experience overall. I mean, now it feels like I'm literally breathing fire out every time I'm talking. It's really weird. It's like everything is really hot. I think the hot, I think the Fatali had the longer lasting burn effect on the tongue, definitely. Like that thing just got in there, 30 seconds, absolute fire, no taste buds, meltdown, just incredible, incredible. And you don't really hear about the Fatali pepper as much. As pretty much everyone's heard of a, a ghost chili pepper, you know. I don't even think you've really got to be someone who's particularly into chilies, you'd have heard of it. It's quite famous as chilies go. Despite the Scoville heat units, and I mean, you know, Chili peppers can vary. They're all, you know, individuals on the plant themselves. Some are going to be a lot hotter than others. I found the Fatali pepper a much hotter experience. I haven't said that then. Like that is burning all the way down now. For some, that may be a once in a lifetime experience. Try the ghost chili pepper out. See how you fare with it. I think in the near future, as soon as I've still got a few left. I've uh, still got a couple here. I intend to save at least one of the seeds so I can replant it and grow my own. I will definitely be trying to eat one again just to see if it's a hotter experience because I think usually it's the seeds in particular. If you've got a really seedy chili, oh, seedy chili, then it's going to be a hotter experience the one that's got you know less seeds involved with it. The ghost chili pepper, also known as boot jalokia. Hot, very, very, very hot, extremely hot, extremely hot. And so there we go, guys. That concludes episode two of the Chili Chamber with me, Luke Simmons, your host. In the next episode, I'll be going head to head with the Naga Chili Pepper, as well as trying out some more chili based products. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give me a like if you liked it. You didn't like it? Well, just kidding. We can still be friends. Maybe. If you
you'd like to give either of these guys a go for yourself, then I've included links to both of them just below the video. Just down there. And that concludes this week's episode. So hopefully I'll see you next time. I've been Luke Simmons. This has been the Chili Chamber. And all that's left to say is... Bye!